Okay, team, hey, here we are writing an equation of a line using point-slope form. So point-slope form looks like this. So I'm going to rewrite this equation, but I'm going to leave y1, m, and x1 blank. So I have y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. Now, in this first blank spot that I awkwardly left, I want the y value of the given point. That's all y1 is. So, and that in this case, it's 8. It's 8. And if it helps, you can even list this as x1, y1, if you would like to. Uh, but I'm going to put my 8 there. Now, this next blank, well, that is just my, that's my slope. It's my slope. In this case, the slope is negative one half. My x value of the given point is three, so let's plug in, let's plug in three there. And there you have it. There it is. There is point slope form. It's kind of an ugly equation, but that's the equation I want. A point slope form equation. Now, the next example was through the point negative 1, 5, and it had a slope of, it had a slope of 3. So once again, I'm going to write this equation, leaving my three blank spots, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. All right, well, this is my x1, this is my y1, so this is this blank right here is my y value, which is five. Let's put that in there. This is my slope, which is three. And this last spot is my x value, which is negative one. Now, make sure you include that negative sign. This subtraction sign is always there. It's always there. If this is a negative number, I better include it. Now, when that happens, we should clean this up a little bit because Subtracting a negative number, it is kind of goofy, so we can clean that up. That's really just, the negatives cancel out. It's really just addition. So my final answer here would be y minus 5 equals 3 times the quantity of x plus 1. And this would be my final equation.